Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love, romance, relationship reading for January to February 2021 for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you will Scorpio. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the next month or two in terms of love, romance, relationships. So what do we have as an overarching message, please, or energy for Scorpio, Angel Spirits Guides, January to February 2021 in love, romance, relationships, please. What does Scorpio need to hear the most? Thank you. Oh, the Hierophant, card of Taurus. Let's pull one more card to go with that, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, wonderful. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guide, message for our lovely Scorpios, thank you. So the first card is your challenge position, Scorpio. Second card of challenge or issue. The second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the future outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, what do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. We have the Four of Wands. The Chariot. And the World. Okay, feels very exciting. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Scorpios. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Scorpio in terms of love, romance, relationships, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Okay, so we have Temperance. The Chariot is clarified with the Eight of Wands. And the World card is clarified with the Empress. Beautiful. Bottom of the deck we have, oh my goodness, Scorpio. This reading is absolutely beautiful. Gosh, I can't speak fast enough. It's just exciting energy. It really is. I feel like I need to talk at 110 miles an hour. <laughs> Because it's, it's almost kind of like angel spirits, guys, just want to tell you everything, you know. Because for some of you, there is some, some of you are going to get a proposal. This is a relationship going to the next level. Now, it could be moving in together. But I'm definitely getting this energy of proposal. I mean, the Hierophant is traditional institutions. It can represent long-term committed relationship so it might well be the next level of commitment in your relationship but generally when I see these cards together I would say someone is going to get a proposal it's exciting uh, the ace of wands is new beginning energy next level next phase and it's of some kind of a committed relationship and you see the four you see the kind of like the temple of the hierophant it is really mimicking this it really is and this is the happy home card. Now, this could be an offer to move in together, um, but it definitely, and this can also be the card of, of celebration, marriage, um, engagements. Uh, it's the happy home card. Um, it's generally quite a celebratory energy. So it definitely feels for some of you, you're gonna get some kind of proposal. And it's just something that you really, really want, you know? Um, I feel the urgency of this. I feel the urgency and the excitement. The excitement is electric. It's an exciting energy. But it's coming, this next phase of your relationship, and it feels very beautiful. The temperance card is patience. It feels like for some of you, you're ready to go to that next level. And there's an energy of patience of this happening. You know, when are, the, when are they going to ask? When are we going to agree? When is this going to happen? You know, and there's a message, it's patience because it's coming. It's coming. It is. It's definitely coming. And then Spirit says, all of a sudden, what do we have here? The shift cards, the victory card, the success card and good news. 
This is the positive shifts out of the blue. I feel for some of you, it might well be a little bit unexpected out of the blue. Someone might surprise you. Obviously, if you're listening to this reading, it might not come as much of a surprise. <laughs> um, but the Eight of Wands is a card of, of exciting change, exciting shifts. It's also a card of progress. So somebody wanting to move forward, someone wanting to take the relationship forward in a specific direction. And I'm definitely getting the energy here. It feels very beautiful. I remember the Cancerian energy, the chariot, the card of Cancer is to do with the home, the family. You know, again, a beautiful energy with these cards on the table. You know, it definitely feels for some of you, this, there's a feeling of planning your home, planning a family. I mean, the Empress is a wonderful card of, she can be a card of pregnancy, she can be a card of, um, I mean, this could be pregnancy as well. This could be pregnancy. There could be some pregnancy here. Yeah. Uh, that could be the change too. Yeah, for some of you, a pregnancy could bring change. Uh, so it can either be a proposal or some kind of pregnancy for some of you, or both. Um, she is a card of abundance. She is the birth or the next level in terms of birth of something new, uh, creating something new. Uh, she's a card of the mother as well, so that means something for some of you as well. And again, this world card is a card of, okay, you have finally completed one, one level and you're going to the next level in terms of this relationship. It could well be for some of you new additions to the family. The more I look at this, it's either some kind of proposal or new additions to the family. But either way, it feels very beautiful indeed. Um, because we have the rainbow of blessings. Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. You know, the Ten of Cups is lacking for nothing. Feel loved and fulfilled and satisfied and contented on every level. You know? It's just you lack for nothing with the Ten of Cups. It is to do with your emotions, your feelings. It's a blissful relationship, blissful setting. Again, children maybe for some of you. Pregnancy, next level in terms of that. Oh, it's so beautiful. But definitely an energy of either. There is some exciting, something exciting is happening. It's either to do with some kind of proposal. Again, the institution of marriage is very strong here. Um, or commitment next phase or it could be to do with some exciting thing happening in terms of pregnancy um, new additions to the family absolutely beautiful energy very beautiful indeed a level of patience here whichever aspect it's coming it's gonna happen and then what bam there's the shift Okay, I love the reading, Scorpio. It's so clear. It's so beautiful. Okay, final message for Scorpio. Thank you. It's, it's interesting that the shadow work has come out. Fox shadow work. There are no shadows without light. I mean, if something is... is I mean, in this situation, it just feels like maybe there's a lack of clarity in something. And that's what there's a level of patience for. Just this lack of clarity, but there's definitely an energy of you will find that light, you know, it's coming. It doesn't feel a negative thing. Let's pull one more for you. Final message for Scorpio, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Final message for Scorpio. Thank you. Yeah, you see, what was I saying? <laughs> it kind of makes sense. The tiger, divine timing. Good things come to those that wait. So yeah, level of patience here, but wow, this feels very exciting. Love the reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you, Scorpio, and I will see you next time. Thank you.